Hey guys, gals and legionnaires, Rykon here and welcome back to Let's Relax with Rimworld, episode 14. We are under attack from the pigs of persecution. So many peas. There's three of them and two of them are equipped with ranged weapons and they are going to be attacking us immediately. So we are going to want to try and take up fortifications around our little, our little protection area here. So, everyone's a little hungry. We're going to pull everyone inside for now. Everyone's going to jump inside here. Okay. A hedgehog has been self-tamed. It's been designated Hedgehog 1. Now, guys, I didn't even anticipate getting names for uh, animals. So, we'll try and we'll try and name our little hedgehog in, uh, in time. Uh... <laughs> Interesting, interesting. And he just self-tamed himself. He'd been around us for long enough that he became... Yeah, tamed. So I'm guessing it's one of these hedgehogs that's around here. Hedgehog 1. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> this is uh, This is our hedgehog. Wow. We could turn him into an attack hedgehog, maybe. <laughs> an obedient hedgehog. <laughs> that's just weird. Um, okay, anyway back on the game uh, we will we will eagerly await their arrival whilst we rush everyone inside um, these guys are hungry I'd like to be able to get them to just quickly eat so that they're on their uh, on their best form we're still missing someone we're missing Gwen all right yeah she's a little slower Okay, alright, no, I want to get nowhere outside now. I should have done that a little sooner. My bad, my bad. And Logan, we're going to get you outside as well. And even Gwen, we're going to get you here as well. Now, I'm not so concerned about Mole um, being melee. I'm concerned about the one with the... Uh, I think... Actually, no, I am concerned about <laughs> Mole. It's the other guy I'm not concerned about. Um, I actually want these two to swap places. There we go. Now he's getting a first shot off on Jimmy, which I don't actually want. I want her attacking Grump. Okay. Okay, we've got a shot off. That's good. Guinevere, I need you ready to attack Mole. Actually, shit. Mole's going to have a pretty good shot. On Noah there. I'm gonna see if Noah can get one shot off and then we're gonna pull her back. Nice, good work. Pull back. Logan, you and Gwen focus fire. Okay, time to run. Leon, I need you ready, buddy. Come on, get inside, get inside. Go, 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 go. Okay, Gwen, I just need you to come around the side. Oh, okay, she's she's unable to walk again. Ah, oh, damn it. This is my mistake here. God damn it! Come on, quick! Go, Leon! Okay. Gwen, we don't want to rest her, we want to get her inside. We want to get you moving. Leon, move. Oh, okay. All right. So we've got one of them down so far. Grump is injured, and Mole is doing just fine. Um, so we've got two people who are injured. Logan has a stab from the pickaxe, and we've got a pickaxe stab. Both the bleeding rates are relatively high. Well, not ridiculously high. It's probably Guinevere that's in the worst condition because she's been shot, I believe. No, nope, just just pickaxes as well. Okay. Alright, we're going to hold them all inside for now. It's going to be Noah that goes outside. Don't shoot my dog. Okay. Oh god, you are shooting the dog. You bastards. Can I not tell you to stay inside? Okay. I think if we can take down Grump, it'll be enough. Yes. Okay, it was enough. We were all going to want to try and take out Mole before he gets away. 
Harito managed to draw fire just for long enough. Okay, Grump. Yeah, you're the guy that's the dick that can only attack and kill. I don't know. He's he's not capable of dumb labor, skilled labor, killed social, skilled rather. He's just capable of killing. So I think Noah's going to finish this guy off. Uh, can she not shoot Hiruto? Okay, there we go. That'd be great. Yeah, finish him. We don't want nothing to do with him. Um, but everyone else, we're gonna... Yep, allow them to rest. We are gonna need to turn that bed as medical as well. There we go. I was just wanting to try and improve her, uh, her shooting skill. I didn't really have anything with him. What about you? Medic's bandana. That's what Noah needs to be wearing. I'm sure that helps in some fashion. Okay, well everyone's injured. Okay, basic healing quality plus 5%. Okay. There you go. Chuck it on, Noah. It's bad quality, I know. She's not happy. She's gonna consume that simple meal, and then I'm assuming she's gonna help try and um, treat these guys. Ronan is just relaxing socially while everyone else is bleeding out. And Ron Ronan's back to work. Ronan, Ronan managed to do fine. Both of them are healed. They were they were fine. It was just a just a scratch. It is a scratch. Nothing more. Logan's going to go and relax socially. I think probably in his room. Which isn't kind of social. You know? It's kind of the opposite of social, uh... Logan? Just saying. Oh, poor little Ronan! Oh, sorry. Poor little Ronan. No, because <laughs> Noah's actually on top of Ronan at the moment, treating Hiruto. Strange, um... Okay. <laughs> I was very confused for a moment then. Hmm. Um, the hedgehog. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we're gonna chuck another sleeping spot for it in, in here. You're gonna be our animal tainer, Ronan. Um, and I guess, I guess we give it a name. Can we name you? Can we name you Hedgehog One? Hmm. I don't see the little thing next to his name whereas if I was Leon and I went to your character I can change it but you don't really have a character tab so I don't think I can rename you Hedgehog 1 damn it okay all right oh you are actually kind of relaxing socially because this is Noah's room <laughs> okay all right fair enough you can hang out uh, Leon is playing horseshoes late at night yeah. So, we don't have anyone on repairing at the moment, I don't think. Um, repair? Yeah, we're going to put Logan as number one repairer, just because he's the kind of, that's kind of what he does. And you're actually just not going to sleep, you're just going to start cooking, which, you know, I'm cool with. Oh, now you're going to go rest. Okay, okay. Well, that was an interesting start to the episode. Um... Yeah, I probably could have managed them a little bit better than I did. Um, there's lots of walking through doorways and making a mess in cargo pods, but that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, gods of RimWorld. We've had a cluster of cargo pods nearby, in the water, and it's more meat, because that's exactly what we needed. Spider meat raining from the sky. <laughs> spider meat, spider meat. Uh... Yeah, okay. All right. We, I mean, we won't say no to it. It's meat uh, and it's free. So, yeah, okay. But uh, it appears the gods of Cataclysm just think we need a, more and more meat. Yeah. Um, I'd like to be able to, like, repair that bandana if it were possible, but I don't know if it is. 
Oh dear, I'm gonna. I'm feeling like I'm, I'm drastically unprepared for winter. Um, but it's summer now, so I'm hoping that we can smash out this research as soon as Guinevere kind of gets back up. Smash out this research and um, and then move on to security, and then from security onto power. Because um, once we get basic power, then we can kind of get up some kind of very very basic temperature control. It's also, it's going to be getting colder as well. This is the only thing that I probably have to take into account with having these separate houses is that each of them are going to have to have their own little fireplaces to keep them warm at night. So, yeah, something, something I've got to think about. I'd like these guys to be hauled away, but it's not our, not our priority at the moment. We've got bigger fish to fry. Um, we've got medicine in, in the wood stockpile for some reason, which is interesting. Wood. But then we've also got... I, I, I'm confused. I guess it was just dropped there. But um, we, are, we, we, we are having the great potato harvest of 5,500. And finally, we have agriculture. Yes, so now we can cultivate corn, rice, strawberries, we can unlock fences, so we'll be able to keep things away from our crops. You know, good stuff, good stuff. We're actually going to shift our growing fields down here closer to home. I'm actually going to probably have them off to the side here, have a big kind of farming area. So we'll need to haul some of that stuff out the way, but that's fine. Um, but what we need to do is come to our research and chuck on security. There we go. So, we'll be depending on Gwyn for that. Yeah, I'm thinking this is probably going to be a good area for us, farming-wise. Let's have a look. Let's see how I want to do this. Because we'll have a fence there. Yeah, so here we want to have potatoes, which is great. Here we will have something other than potatoes. Let's have a look, because we've got so many things that you can grow with this. Huge amounts, huge amounts. Squash could be good. Squash in real life is, it's a, well, you get a decent return from it. I might want to do some smaller ones as well, just so we have a kind of a variety. Um, but we'll have our three kind of main things up here. I think we'll use rice as well. No, we're going to go for corn, actually. And then I think in these back fields, we're going to go for something... Uh, we're going to go for slightly smaller ones, I think. Let's see how we want to do it. Because we could do fruit trees as well. We could just try to separate them like that. Let's see. Let's go apple tree. Banana tree. Orange tree. There, I think this way we're just gonna get a bit of uh, bit of variety in our diets. That's, that's, that's my thinking at least, I don't know if I'm just out on a limb here, but, you know, something a little different. Um, the mushrooms might have a chance to grow during winter as well, so I'll probably try and plant some of them. Let's see. I don't know if that's the case or not, I'm just kind of, I'm just, I'm, I'm learning with you all here as well. So I think I'm going to go for some smaller plots out the back here, like that so we can kind of test things out as we're going. I'm going to grow mushrooms there. Let's see, what else have we got? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do some smaller plots, but I think we'll just stick with those for now. And then down the bottom, these zones here. We'll just grow some 
small groups like that. And we'll chuck in onions, lettuce. Sorry, I just did it on the same one. So onions. Tomatoes. And strawberries, why not? Okay, so we've got a decent amount of that plot put down for the time being. I'm going to want to build a fence as well, but um, I just want to see the houses kind of completed before we do that. And Well, <laughs> we've got a lot of potatoes outside. A lot. We've actually got a lot of steel here as well. Yeah, it's just that that we need done. Wouldn't mind a little bit of hauling going on. Leon is hungry. Guinevere is just relaxing socially. Not in her room as well. In Logan's room. Because I like to go into each other's rooms from time to time. Which, you know, it's fun. That's fun. Would like to see some light up in these rooms. There we go. Doesn't take very long for those to be put up. Um, but yeah, we, we do need more... Um, where are you going? You gotta go grab that meat, aren't you? Yeah, you are. I knew it. Instead of cooking jerky, how about you prioritize hauling the spider meat? That's what I'm talking about. You can grab most of that, can't you? There we go. And I hear research happening as well, which is very nice. Well, <laughs> Ronan. <laughs> Ronan sleeping with a hedgehog and a dog yeah yeah he's uh he's our dr doodle <laughs> yeah so once we have these constructed i'm just going to build a basic fence around our farming area and then we can um oh we just go through those so fast it's just because it's a bit of a long walk as well for running to go and grab the wood each time i'm just gonna ask leon where he is sleeping okay as soon as he's done sleeping we are going to ask him to um, come and haul some of that wood for us actually you know what Noah you can do that now there you go just so that Ronan can keep working I know she's trying to be good and get the food inside but yeah just want to see a little bit more wood there She's going to try and uh, tame Herita. Oh no, she's going to go all the way over here and try and tame that one. Yeah, I thought she was going to run out of energy before she got there, but that's okay. Nice, getting further along. We're about halfway through security. I'm interested to see what is under it, what's, um, what's kind of available for us to learn. <laughs> Leon's running on his own kind of sleep schedule at the moment. Just watching the sunrise now. <laughs> that's okay. He's earned it for now. Did a good job at protecting us from the uh, pigs of persecution. Some unfriendly folk. Alright. Well, almost all the houses have been built. Just a little bit left on Ronan's place. So that means we probably will be able to get a, a little bit of a stockpile of wood up and, up and running. Where it should be good. Hoping Noah will get a chance to do a little bit more planting as well. Looks like she's going to try and do that now. No, what is she doing? Taming the room dog. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully it's a little less hostile to us. That'd be nice. Alright, we've got all those little tables built. And looks like your room's finally been built as well, Ronan. Nice. So, we're going to chuck down... Just a little basic eating area here as well. Bam. Oh, look at them all. Peacefully sleeping away. Everyone's still alive. No one died. We're getting close though. Um, we are getting some frayed material though. I guess it's the plane walker's hat that he doesn't like. Yeah. Hmm. Can go anything? Worker, soldier, worker. Ah, oh, okay, okay. 
Interesting. I'm going to have Leon as a soldier. Because I'm guessing that's going to be more armor and the rest. So he'll chuck on things like that. So we can we can manage what our outfits are. Okay, that's that's quite cool. Noah is saying that she's naked, so she must have taken something off. Cryptopod bodysuit. Doesn't seem like she's okay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, she thinks she's naked. Wonder what she chucked off. I'm just going to let wait anything. Why not? Anything. Go for gold. So close to getting that research finished. And you know what? I'm probably going to clear these fields now. Uh, because they're just going to keep on replanting them. Sorry guys, you can, <laughs> you can stop doing that now. Yeah, they're going to come on down here and start working away. Planting a few bits and pieces. We are feeding it though. Mm. Oh, that light doesn't last very long. You've lost yours already, Gwen. And those are all going to be out in two hours as well. Spacious interior. Well, this is keeping them feeling good at least, having, the, having their own little houses. Um, it's kind of keeping them happy, which I, which I'm happy about, you know. They're happy, I'm happy. We can get rid of all that planning now. I just realised we still had it just sitting there. Bam! Look at that. It's dirty, but you know that's not too bad. I think Noah did actually chuck on some new gear. Yeah, trousers, eh? where it's at. And we're clearing the land. Getting our farm on. Nice. Now whether any of this will be... I, I suppose it would be able to... would be able to have like another season of harvesting. Yeah, we should be able to. Okay. We're going to be chucking in some fences. Around like this. Oh, we just need straight up wood to build those. Nice. Oh, no. Was I building gates everywhere? Was I actually just doing that? Okay, hang on, wait. <laughs> We've got to make sure we cancel all of that. Uh... No, they're wooden fences. Okay, and I am just building it straight out of wood. Which is a waste, but yeah, you know what? I'm actually okay with doing it for now, just because we'll get it up and running much faster that way. It takes six wood, but then if I use that, it uses six planks, so it would be more efficient. Wood. Be, actually, it's going to be a hell of a lot more efficient. We're going to deconstruct this. Yeah, there we go. Mark those to be deconstructed as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Planks. Just like that. Ooh, security! Not only does it appear that the planet's environment is trying to kill you, but also hostile creatures and raiders are as well. Learning the basics of security will allow your colonists to create a man turret to help fend off these nasties. Nice! Man turrets! That's what I'm talking about. Fire suppression. Ooh. No, we are going to go down the power route. Then probably construction and then crafting, I think is how we're gonna how we're gonna play that. But at the moment, we just wanna get this up and running. It's gonna use quite a few planks, but that is all good. Bam. There we go. 
So they're going to be getting away with it any moment now. But I think that's probably going to wrap us up for this episode. The place is starting to look a little bit more like home. Dawn Springs Heights is coming together and we survived another attack. And now that we have security, we can create a man turret, which looks pretty freaking awesome. Although only problem being, we actually need bars to make it. So we can make a freaking ballista. Okay. But we still need bars for that as well. So for bars, we are going to need better construction techniques. And they are going to come in time. But that is going to be next time. Thank you all for joining me. I've been Rikon. You've been awesome. And until then, stay tuned.